So anytime you have a route that's designed to run into the cornerback like this route is, he will immediately run right past him. And it's the same thing with the cornerback, as he immediately shoots outside for what reason, I don't know, and he completely gets lost in no man's land. As you can see, this plays like running Hail Mary on steroids, as this receiver will get open and score one play touchdown against every single defense in the game, right down the center. <laughs> For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a single play for you guys today. I know you're super excited. I usually put out full offensive schemes, full offensive breakdowns, but today I'm adding to an offensive scheme that I already put out. I already made a full breakdown of the offense I'm going to show you guys today. I'm in the formation, the gun normal while off close, which if you guys follow this channel, I've pretty much been using since last year, although realistically, it's not something that I really ever wanted to get out of. It's probably my favorite offensive formation in the entire game. I changed playbooks though i just put out a brand new breakdown of the chicago bears offensive ebook it's a brand new playbook that i just put out on all my sites if you guys need more help more money plays more tips you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply like clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment i'm going to show you guys is the Y sale, which I think I might've showed you guys last year out of the Buffalo Bills. But the reason I'm using the Chicago Bears is because this is the only playbook that has all of the plays that I want. I mean, this particular formation is in like maybe 10 or 12 different playbooks, but every one of them has a, a you know different plays in it. This particular one has all of my favorite plays, which is why I'm switching the Chicago Bears. And I recommend if you're gonna follow my channel and try to recreate some of my stuff to do the same. I already made a gameplay video. I think it was a defensive gameplay video though, where I was using this offense and i'm going to be putting out an offensive gameplay video using this offense either on thursday or friday uh it really depends on you know whatever update might come out uh, on thursday which i'm kind of expecting but i'm going to be showing in that gameplay me using the y sale play which like i said is one of the broken most broken plays in the game against a top 500 player uh which i just randomly got matched up with and i absolutely dominated with him with this scheme so if you guys want to see that make sure to set your calendars for like i said thursday or friday so let's go let's pick the y sale but before i do i just want to make sure that you guys know where you should be putting your uh, your your best player because the the route that's going to be killing this uh scheme is going to be right here so i'll put either your fastest receiver if you have some ridiculous speed guy like a 97 98 speed guy or something like that put him there to make it super easy on you in this situation i have dj moore who i think is 93 speed but he's also um he's also my best receiver so it makes it simple you're also going to want to make sure i'm going to be using the hash marks a lot so put your second best receiver or your second fastest guy on the other receiver spot outside because basically doing this if i have to flip the play in a game i when i flip the play the receivers don't you know swap the length of the field so if i have my fastest guys on the outside i'll always have a super fast receiver running the route that i'm going to show you guys which is really the most important one so i'm gonna pick that play the y sale and i'm going to start off going defense to defense starting with the tampa two now when it comes to this play there's a lot of dink and dunk options that you have here more specifically the running back and the tight end the B receiver does a good job, even though that's not really a, um, you know, that's a kind of a different route. It looks kind of like a streak, but he's kind of bending to the outside. It'll work as a streak if I just want to simply use him to get the uh, the A route tight end open, especially against cover two. As you can see, that's a very easy play. But I could also throw the running back over and over. And that's going to work against just about any zone coverage. The running back especially is going to work against any zone coverage. The tight end can too, and I'll show that as I get to the other zone coverages. But realistically, for that play to work against like a cover three or cover four for the tight end, to get open you have to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field and this setup will get the a tight end open against just about any cover three cover four as well but i'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna, i'll run it from here it really doesn't matter because i'm gonna show you guys the one play touchdown the running back like i said though keep that in mind running back gets open against any zone coverage the tight end will get open against any zone coverage as long as you run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field now the other side i would say that would be better, better used as my man beating side by that i mean i'm going to put my y receiver on a zig a drag or a slant just to give myself uh you know I, I, he's the option guy he can do whatever i want him to do i can leave him doing what he's doing because that's a man beater as well if you throw it right away but ultimately that's going to be your man side the left side is going to be your man side the right side is going to be your zone side it's, it's a simple way to, to to split the field in half and, and you know make your pre-snap read but when it comes to cover two you have a lot more options i'm going to move the ball back to the center of the field because you don't need to be on a hash mark but you have options as far as this play goes you can run this from anywhere on the field when it comes to cover two it's just against cover three cover four other coverages you're going to have to be on a hash mark a lot of times for it to work now 
I'm going to motion this guy across and put the wide receiver and the X receiver on uh, fades to try to pull these safeties apart. And this is pretty much going to be your setup against a lot of different defenses. You're going to get one play touchdowns every single time as long as you're on a hash mark properly, which, like I said, I'll go over defense to defense. With this particular play, though, if I really want to spread the safeties apart, I can put the Y receiver on a 10-yard out route. But the reason that I have them on a fade is because a lot of people aren't competent at calling, uh, you know, reading defenses. So if you're not very good at it, you don't have to you can just set it up the same way pretty much every single time but if you are really good at reading a defense put the y route on a 10 yard out route and it's going to make this play even easier because it's going to work to pull those safeties apart now in that first play i got a sack if i know i'm going for the one play touchdown i don't necessarily have to uh you know i can block the running back uh, and I'm talking really fast and stuff like that, so I'm not really paying uh, the most amount of attention as I could be either. But let's go ahead and set that up with a little bit of extra blocking, which sometimes you can do, sometimes you can't. And you can see how this guy can run right through the middle there where, you know, your typical linebacker can't keep up. But obviously, Justin Fields is critically underrated as he overthrows the ball there. I think Justin Fields had a really good second half when he came back from injury. I don't know why he's still only rated 86. But you can see the slight pressure in his face I think caused the problem both times. But either way, you can see the guys splitting right down the middle as I'm now just making a bunch of mistakes. But let's go and let's do this one more time just to complete this pass. I don't know. I mean, I chose the Bears just because, I mean, I usually record with the Eagles, but they're making me sick right now with how bad they're playing. So I wanted to use the team that actually, you know, the team with the same playbook. So here we go. One more time. There we get our green light up, and we get a very good, easy one play touchdown over the top. Now, with this setup, you can also get a very big play to the A route, obviously, as, you know, he's going to get open. And if you have a fast enough tight end, you get a good catch and run. You could probably get a one-play touchdown on the outside as well. This play also has a lot of success against cover two man in the gameplay I'm going to show you guys. I did hit a one-play touchdown against this particular defense, so I'm going to pick that. Now, against certain defenses like cover two man, cover two zone, uh, cover four regular, it's often best to run it from the center of the field or, you know, just not on a hash mark because of how the safeties play. And cover two man is one of those defenses. So I'm going to make the same motion. I'm going to make the same adjustments, and I'm going to have pretty much the same results if i want to once again i can put the y receiver on a 10 yard out route doing that will actually give you a better check down than you have on just about any other play i don't know what is going on with uh, justin fields though as his as i was trying to throw the out route there once again i'm going to try that again i mean i don't i don't typically use the bears very often although i do have a gameplay planned with the bears but uh, let's try to get this 10 yard out right here as this is just ridiculous but that will give you a decent check down so keep that in mind but we're going to try to hit the one play touchdown just to show you guys this, that this play works. Even though, like I said, I'm not worried about the results because in the gameplay that I have already have recorded, I'm halfway through editing. Uh, basically, I score one play touchdown with this exact play against this exact defense. So I'm not too worried about it. But you can see how he splits the defense very easily for a one play touchdown against this particular defense as well. Next up, we're going to do, uh, we'll stick with the man coverages. We'll do uh, cover zero. I said earlier that I make this motion just about every single time. But against cover zero, this is going to be one of the few times that I don't make that motion. So I'm going to leave that receiver where he is. And I'm going to make a few adjustments. I'm going to give myself the Y route on a zig because I do like that setup. It gives me a quick check down no matter what. And I'm also going to put the uh, the running back on a check and release. You can put the A route on a check and release. Although I think the, the A route is a decent play if you smart route it and shorten it. So I'll leave that alone because I do think that he will get open outside. Unless the safety starting outside like he was there. As you can see, that's not going to work. But if, he's, if, the, if you have outside leverage, he will get open. So between that... And the zig, which is going to be a very good check down. You have a lot of good options. The the, the square in is going to be a 10-yard route that gets open. But the B receiver is also a one-play touchdown with no adjustments at all. So I'm just going to put the running back on a check and release for a little bit of better blocking. Although realistically, I could probably put him on a straight-up pass block because I think the guy covering him is on the other side of the field. I'm pretty sure the safety, the free safety is covering him, so he's not going to get in the way. But this is pretty much all you got to do. And you can see how this guy is going to get open as long as I throw it inside away from the cornerback, and we actually get the touchdown there, even though I thought that might get knocked out. The reason this play works, and I've said this in videos in the past, anytime you have a route that's designed to run into the cornerback, like this route is, he will immediately run right past him. That's because every time he bumps into him like that, the cornerback loses acceleration, but the receiver does not, which is why he gets right past him for an easy one-play touchdown against man zero. So the best way to set this up would be to check and release the running back and run it from a hash mark like I am, because this would give you a little bit more space, but I still finds best to throw it inside away from the cornerback anyway as you can see that time he doesn't even catch us the cornerbacks on the outside so if you want to create space you just have to throw it to the inside away from the cornerback and that's why he runs away from him if i try to throw it outside it'd be more of an issue 
Next up, we'll finish off the man coverages by doing man cover one with cover one hole. You can see the single high safety is in the center of the field, but he's also cheating over towards the two right receivers. That's why you want to be on a hash mark with this play. I'm going to start showing you guys some stuff that you can do with a hash mark pretty much throughout the rest of this video. So now when I make my motion, if you watch that safety, he actually goes over there even further, which I don't think he'll do from anywhere else on the field. I don't think he moves over the same way he did because I'm basically trying to use that extra motion against him. As you can see here, he moves over a little bit, but not as much as I would like. So that's why it's important to be on a hash mark against this and against cover three. Basically, any single high safety, you're going to want to be on a hash mark because he moves over much further now. And he's all the way to the, you know, the far hash mark on the other side. So when I motion this guy across, I'm going to make the exact same adjustments. I can give myself a check down or whatever I want. But since I know I'm going for the home run, I'm just going to block everybody and that's going to be fine. But this is pretty much it because I'm going to go for the B route once he gets inside. You can see he gets inside leverage on, um, you know, on the, the superstar cornerback. And you can see, even though the, the safety is on top of him, you have a throwing window against, you know, one of the best cornerbacks in the game. And he's double teamed by the safety and he still gets passed. So once again, this is all about the pass lead. As you can see, he gets inside leverage and he gets across that safety. So I really just have to get a good pass lead away from those guys. And he'll beat that double team every single time. So that's all the man coverages. Let's go and let's move on to some zone coverages, starting with cover three, since it looks the same as cover one hole. So let's go and let's pick that. Same setup as I mean, if you can't read a defense very well, that's one of the things that makes this, this play so good is, is if you see a single high safety and you don't know if it's cover three or cover one, it doesn't matter as long as you're on a hash mark like I am. So I'm going to motion this guy across. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to put those guys on fades. The only difference is I'm going to block the running back and I'm going to put the tight end on a fade. That fade, or not fade, I'm sorry, shorten the tight end by, by smart routing him. That smart route will shorten the route and it's going to basically hold that cornerback down in place, which is important for the play. So I'm going to do this. Like I said, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to wait for that guy to cross and then basically bullet and pass lead away. And you can see we can split that uh, cornerback safety tandem once again for another easy one play touchdown. And the reason this play works so well is because there's so many streaks in this area that this safety cannot commit to this route, even though he's crossing. Technically, this route is falling into this cornerback's job, who is kind of staying low because of the corner route. And by the time he realizes that the ball's coming to the receiver he's supposed to be covering, it's too too late as we're already scoring a touchdown we only got two defenses left the first one's going to be cover for match and this one's very unique as it's going to be very different than the rest of the plays that i showed you cover for match is one of the most patched defenses and makes it one of the best defenses to use in madden 24 right now because of how much work ea put into it from the beginning of the year but it still glitches out very easily against this play for some reason that i don't necessarily understand and it does it as is no adjustments you're going to see as long as you run from a hash mark like i did for whatever reason the cornerback and the safety don't know what they're doing and they don't know who they're covering and it's all because of this guy here. Watch how indecisive this guy is as he's chopping his feet. He's going back and forth. He doesn't really know he's supposed to cover. And it's the same thing with the cornerback as he immediately shoots outside for what reason, I don't know. And he completely gets lost in no man's land as this receiver gets completely free inside release to the point where I can just bullet and pass inside for a very big play. Now, that's the setup as is, but you can make this play even better by simply putting him on a streak because we saw how he jumped outside. So having that delay of this, uh, you know, this route kind of going to the outside is not what I want. So I'm just going to put him on a streak and I'm going to put these other guys on a fade. And you're going to see how it's going to have the exact same result where the guy basically shoots to the outside. But now it just gives me more free space to, you know, pass lead inside for a very easy one play touchdown. So watch this again, taking away that outside release or whatever it is that route DJ Moore is trying to run and just putting him on a straight streak does change what the cornerback does you can see the cornerback just shoots away like he thinks he's going to cover somebody who's not even there and then this receiver just runs right down the field for an easy one play touchdown on a streak as long as you bullet and pass lead away and then last but not least we have regular cover four which is one of the hardest defenses to hit a one play touchdown against in the game so let's go and let's pick that and just like cover two man this is going to be best if you run it somewhere towards the center of the hashes you don't have to be but it's better than being on a hash mark being on a hash mark in this particular instance is going to work against you everything else is going to be the exact same setup the results as well as we're going to see that the uh, the b receiver here just splits the safety you just got to get a good pass lead and you can just go right down the center which is one of the reasons this is one of my favorite plays in the game as you can see this plays like running hail mary on steroids as this receiver will get open and score one play touchdown against every single defense in the game right down the center so that's just the video we scored a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game and like i said you have lots of dink and dunk options as well so if you guys want to see more videos like this including a gameplay that i plan on putting out thursday or friday uh, i'll probably try to come back and add this link uh, to that video whenever I get it. Make sure to be subscribed, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.